Christina's birthday. So we are making <laughs> carrot cake. Carrot cake, because that's your favorite. Okay, we're going to start with our dry ingredients. Two cups of flour. Two cups of sugar. Go ahead. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. A teaspoon of baking soda. And a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, which is like a minuscule amount. We're going to stir that together. Does that count as like a pinch? Yeah, you might as well do a pinch. <laughs> I don't even have a quarter cut, a quarter teaspoon measure. So I had to take a half teaspoon <laughs> and make half of a half of a teaspoon to get a quarter of a teaspoon. They could make one of those. I'm sure they did, but I'm sure I didn't use it and said, when will I ever need something this small? <laughs> Until now. Yeah. <laughs> And yes, space is a commodity in this kitchen. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. oil. We have a cup and a half of vegetable oil. And we're just gonna mix that in. Go ahead and grab the eggs. Four eggs. Drop them on in. sure everything is mixed together with our whisk and then see how thick that is? All right. So this is your arm workout. Oh yeah. Always. All right. Now I have three cups of shredded carrots. You can shred your own carrots or you can be lazy like me and let the grocery store do it for you. Go ahead and buy them. Yeah, this, this week they were on sale, so... Uh, Dump the whole thing? Uh-huh. I love you. <laughs> I let someone else shred your carrots. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You will still get carrot cake. Yes. It will just not be you and I slaving over that shredder. <laughs> do you remember the first time we made carrot cake together? Yes. Poor Christina looked over and she goes, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> Are we really doing this? I said, we're really doing this. That was a tedious process. Well, that was, I was, and I was pregnant. Yes. With Elijah. Because this was the cake I craved <laughs> the entire time I was pregnant with Elijah. This was, I would eat this anytime, day or night. It's good, too. It is really good. It's really moist and really delicate. So, all right. So, we have three eight-inch pans, which we're going to grease. Now, I know that I have expressed before on videos that if you keep your pan grease for too long, it separates. And if you notice, you see how it's oily yeah. down there on the white up here? Here's what we do. Take out the brush. And you just whisk it back together to get to the consistency. Another arm workout. Because, you know, you never have enough of those. Since I'm right-handed, I can't use my left hand too long and it doesn't feel right. Well, I'm right-handed too. So here. <laughs> you use it. Jeez. I'm done. I won't make you do the workout part of it. It is your birthday after all. Okay, so we're just going to grease. And you want to make sure you get all the way around on all three pans. Okay. And then... We're just going to scoop out. And it's really a thick batter. It's almost like you're, you're afraid it's not going to spread through the whole pan. Trust <laughs> me, it will. How's that? Good. Good. Yeah, but hold off on that second one. We might only be able to make two layers because it's that thick. You know why I usually make this in the six inch? Because nobody else eats it but me, and that's why I make three layers. <laughs> We're only going to make a two-layer eight-inch cake today instead of a only two three. Eating it. <laughs> We're still going to be the only two eating it, but that's okay. Get all that yummy goodness. And then we're going to put this in a 350-degree oven for about 45 minutes. So now it's time to make our cream cheese frosting for our carrot cake. We're going to start with eight ounces of cream cheese that I have let soften so it's room temperature and a stick of butter 
We're going to cream those together until they are basically like having, okay. yeah, like you wouldn't be able to tell cream cheese from butter in the end. of where the sugar ends and the butter begins, mm -hmm. that's what you want to make it look like one. Right. So we're going to add four cups of powdered sugar. Um, if you are if you don't buy powdered sugar in 10 pound bags like me, then it's a pound. <laughs> Since I do, it's four cups. That did not work. One. I know in this one I, oh, I filled it as much as I could and I still have powdered <laughs> sugar that did not fit in here in my little bag. I need a bigger container for my powdered sugar. I think, I think Mark is not going to go for anything else in this kitchen. <laughs> he looked at my Christmas wish list and he was like, you have more stuff on your list. There's more stuff you want. And I was like, is that bad? It's okay. All right, so we're going to mix the powdered sugar in and then we're going to add the vanilla. So now that the powdered sugar is fully incorporated into the butter and the cream cheese, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Gives it that nice vanilla flavor. Then we're just going to mix this until combined, and then we'll be ready to ice our cake. So, our carrot cake is cool. Mm -hmm. Our cream cheese frosting is ready. Yes. So now we're going to frost a cake. Um, first things first, I'm going to dip into here, get just a little bit of the frosting, and put it there. Do you know why we do this? So that it stays and it doesn't move. Yeah, it's going to stick so we don't have a problem of it jostling around. Now, I'm going to take a knife, run along the outside edge of the cake and a little underneath just to try to get it dislodged from the pan. Now, carrot cake is really difficult most days. So let us pray. Ha! Huh? Okay, so I'm going to take this little piece because that's really good. Okay, <laughs> shove it right back in and no one will notice. No. All right, so grab a big old spoonful, toss in the middle. Got it? And just spread it around? Yeah. And if you want, I can get you a bigger spoon to dip into it. While you're doing that, I'll get out of your way. I'll sit back here. <laughs> Let's trade places. And I'll dislodge this one so that you make this look easy. It is easy. Don't be so self-conscious. It's <laughs> just cake. And really, I'm going to tell you what my husband has told me for years. He, no one cares what the cake looks like. Okay, some people are like, oh my god, that's a beautiful cake. But it's only a beautiful cake until you bite into it. And if it's nasty once you bite into it, then no one remembers. That is true. If they eat it and it tastes amazing, no one remembers what it looked like. Nope. <laughs> they just remember how good it tasted. So. Very true. We know that it tastes good. And it's your birthday cake. No matter what it looks like. I went to a friend's wedding one time. The cake looked great, but it was horrible. We had <laughs> TJ and I had a birthday party we went to where we had that. And she looked at me and she said, did they not put sugar in this cake? I said, I don't think so. I don't taste the sugar. If it had sugar in it, it was minimal sugar. And the hostess actually offered us cake to take home, and she and I were like, mm, that's okay. We're good. <laughs> she said, can you, can you make some cake and bring it over? <laughs> All right. You're up. Yeah, I wish I had had you as home ec teacher in high school. I probably would have learned a whole lot more. <laughs> Uh, not when you were in high school. I didn't know much then. <laughs> when you were in high school, which was, I was making, was just starting out at making cakes and learning how to do all of it. I mean, I taught myself. This is not, cakes were not something that anyone educated me in. And first I had to get flavors down instead of 
making it look pretty. I thought making it look pretty was the number one thing. <sighs> Your cousin educated me that he didn't care what it looked like. Just as long as it tastes good. What does it taste like? <laughs> okay, so the extra frosting we put around just to make, to cover up all those little pieces. And now we could color some frosting and make it say happy birthday, Christina. But I'm pretty sure you want to eat it more than you want me to decorate it. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have carrot cake. <laughs> is not gonna come true. I know. <laughs> it's four times to take it blow on eight candles. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Let's eat it now? Yeah. You think it's time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>